Hey, Symphonic Choir class, Mr. Axel here again, and I'm going to be talking to you today about preparing the second half of Daniel, Daniel, Servant of the Lord. Um, this is the section after your first marking period vocal assessment spot. So uh, as you're looking on uh, my screen right now, uh, we finish up a section slightly after your assessment, but it's a repeat of the previous section, the whole that Hebrew Daniel, servant of the Lord, and then we, and everything stops. <clears throat> Notice it says much more slowly a bass solo, and the bass solo is going to go. Now the king in his sleep was troubled. And let me get this chord right here, but the word says hum. I've been doing some research on this, and I think after hearing a number of recordings on this, I prefer not to actually say the word hum but actually just go right to the, the mm sound. So uh, I'll give an example of what I want here. The, the bass solo is going to sing, now the king in his sleep was troubled. And then here's the, like the third note. So now how am I creating that sound? What I'm going to do is this. I'm opening up my mouth by keeping my lips closed. I'm going like an ooh, ooh, ooh. But instead I'm going to go mm. Mm, and I'm starting the sound in my nose by going, mm, mm. it creates a glottal stroke in the back of your throat. Mm, 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 or a soprano, um, a soprano two, because mm, mm, obviously there's two notes there. I spent one, mm, alto one, mm, alto two. Mm. I'm going to put in a bass note uh, for baritones. Um, and it's going to be the octave up. Mm, so bass is going to be, mm, but you're creating an open space, but lips closed. Mm, all right. So it'd be like this. Now the king in his sleep was troubled. I'll give you a cue. Mm, okay. Then the tenors and altos, they get cut off and come back in. Mm, sopranos cut out completely. To find God has sent uh, is, then we have a new part here. Um, so at this moment, and you need to make sure you're aware of this baritones, you're going to go up to these lower tenor notes right here, just these two notes right there. So you're on this note, mm, you're going to go to, mm, mm, okay, tenors go up to the upper note there, all altos here, all sopranos here, that's easy not to hear that. All right, then we all sing to lock the lion's jaws. Now, what I did on the word jaws is I attack it, disappear, and come back. So I'll do it again. To lock the lion's jaws. Then I will cut off. Okay, got it? So I'm going to do that, that, sec that section again. We'll go back. I can't sing all the parts. You'll have to do that on your own when you're practicing. But this is to kind of prepare for, your, for this next spot. So the little bass solo comes in and sings, Now the king in her sleep was troubled. Hmm. Sorry, I almost said hum there. Then his nostrils come off. Hmm. Everything's go up. Hmm. Hmm. Everyone sings deliberately and well marked, which means you're going to go, uh, 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 to lock the lion's jaws. That's all unison right there. Then I'll get to the sopranos and altos in a minute, this screaming crap here. Tenors and basses, sing the melody. I'll give you the cue. Oh, the king cried, oh, Daniel, Daniel, oh. Daniolo, basically go Daniolo, this again, Daniolo, all right, <clears throat> then you recognize the part, servant of the Lord, then the last part of this is probably what's the most trickiest of this entire piece, we have these entrances, oh the king cried, oh, oh the king, oh Daniel, Daniel, and things get really, really chromatic in this section, all right, um, and so you'll have to, we'll go through these parts um, next class period uh, on Friday, um, but certainly you can start listening to this section. 
what I'll try to do during the course of the day, um, while this is going to be asynchronous today, is to get those parts recorded a little slower so that you can hear how these parts are going to go. And then hopefully I'll, I'll, um, I'll pop it up as an announcement on Canvas during the course of the day, Symphonic Choir members, okay? And then uh, we get to the screaming, oh, I'm sorry, that's too loud for you. My apologies to the, my microphone over here. Sorry, Mr. Microphone. Um, all this being done at 6.30 in the morning, if you're wondering. Yes, actually can sing at 6.30 in the morning. Um, really high stuff, obviously, okay? Uh, let's go back for a minute though. We're gonna go back to that crazy high soprano stuff, soprano and alto stuff. Once we sing Jaws. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna hold that out and my cutoff is going to be your cue, tenors and basses to come in like this. Jaws, oh, the king cried, oh, Danny -o, Danny -o. All right, so it's it's seamless, that whole process. We do the whole Jaws. Oh, the king cried, oh, 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 Danny -o, Danny -o. All right, so take a listen to these notes. I'll start with the altos. The cool thing is what the tenors and basses get to is your note. Oh, the king cried, oh, oh, just left the octave up. Oh, 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 oh the king cried. Sorry. That's the weirdest note at the end of that. Then Danny 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 Hulo Dati Bru Danny Then Sergeant Tobolo. That part you know after that, right? So I'll do it a little slower. Danny Danny Hulo. Servant of the Lord. That is the um, the alto part. Now I'm not going to be able to sing these parts in that register, so I'll sing them down an octave. So it's going to be, oh the king cried, oh oh oh. Maybe I can. I'll, I'll sing the uh, the soprano part. Hey, not bad, Mr. Axman. <clears throat> oh, the king cried. Oh, Listen. Then, servant of the Lord. That part you know after that, right? So, um, Right. So the, well, let's go from that Hebrew Daniel to servant. That's hard. All right. And then finally, I am not going to sing this, uh, not going to sing this part of the octave. All right. Oh, the king, king. Listen again. Oh, the king cried. Oh, Daniel, Daniel. All right. Oh, the king. Oh, oh, the king. Oh, Daniel, 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 Daniel. That he brewed and he holds servant of the Lord. That's the last part. That he brewed and he holds servant of the Lord. Okay. Hoping you're able to get these parts and be able to practice them. And then the whole ending sequence, like I said, I'll do that for you guys in a practice file to get you prepared. <clears throat> and then finally, last thing to show you is the very, 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 very end, which I will sing for you. Um, which is the last two measures with the pickup, All right? So first up, soprano ones. I'll sing it down the octave. That servant of the Lord. All right. 
Um, and that's going to be like plaster falling off of the ceiling kind of sound. Listen again. The servant of the Lord. <clears throat> Next part, we've got the soprano twos. The servant of, same note, the Lord with the crescendo. <clears throat> Next part is the alto ones. You'll hear that uh, servant of the Lord. Listen again. One. Servant of the Lord. That's the alto one. Here's the alto two. Servant of the Lord. Listen again. Servant of the Lord. Then tenors. Tenors, you don't have to sing the high, high, high stuff. Just the the the, the lower line hit the end. That servant of the Lord. Now, if a couple of you tenors want to be daring and go, the Lord, you're more than welcome to do that. But I'd rather hear the F sharp. The servant of the Lord. And then finally to the bass and baritone, all high at the end. One, servant of the Lord. And bass two, it's super, super high. One, servant of the Lord. And that's the whole ending sequence. All right. So this is what you're focusing on today. I want you to practice this second half. I know that some of you are also still going, well, most of you are going through preparing for the first marking period assessment. But this is something that if you're ready to do that, sec that second marking period assessment and you're good to go, let's focus on this part next as well. Okay. Guys, good luck today. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.